good people. It is Tashara Politics and Fashion here today with another vlog. Uh, we're traveling again. I got my carry-on bag and I am ready to hit the streets. Now, I just came back from New York Fashion Week and quite as it's kept, I'm attending another event that probably is grander than New York Fashion Week. You wanna know what it is? It is the biggest ball of the year called the coldest winter ever. Now y'all, when I say ball, I do not mean like your annual hospital gala. I'm not talking about the Met, although the fashions are on par with the Met. I am talking about the house and ballroom community. I'm talking about the space where LGBTQ people, especially those of color, come alive, y'all. And so a ball is where people vogue, is where they enter categories, is where they compete for money. And the coldest winter ever is the biggest one of the year. Like if you're gonna be at a ball, this is the ball that you wanna be at. And it is going to be in Queens, New York this Saturday. But before we even hop on a train, another train, to head up to New York, I feel like I need to really let y'all know more about the house and ballroom community. Hey, hey, Jonathan. Hey, family. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the people. Absolutely. So my name is Jonathan Likes Garcon, Garcon Garcon, uh, and I'm an activist, an artist, and a queer organizer. Um, the founder and executive director of Liberation House. Amazing. And we've known each other for a very, very long time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we've been in it to win it for a long time now. Long time. Yeah. Um, and one of the things that recently you introduced me to is the House of Como de Garcon. And now I am also a member of CDG Pro. Tell the people, what is the House of Como de Garcon? And just situate the entire ballroom community for us. Absolutely. So the House of Comme des Garçons, um, we have been around more than a decade now. We are in something called the House and Ballroom Community. Many people might locate the House and Ballroom Community through uh, contemporary pop culture TV shows like Pose created uh, on FX or Legendary that's on HBO Max. So um, a lot of people back in the day might have known the cultural appropriation of uh, Madonna's song Vogue, or you might locate it with other documentaries that have captured the community at Sundance Film Festival. So um, Paris is Burning was the documentary that came out almost maybe more than 25 years ago at this point. Um, and my sister co-wrote the documentary Kiki, which also featured the house and ballroom community at the Sundance Film Festival. So um, that's kind of like how people might locate the community. But what it really is, it's a community of Black queer and trans organizers. Um, it finds its roots in the Harlem drag balls of the Harlem Renaissance. So this is a community that's more than 100 years old. And there are really two aspects of the community. There's the cultural production aspect. There are balls that take place all the time, everywhere, all around the world. And people compete for cash prizes in a number of different categories. There's probably over 100 different categories that you can compete in. It's all about the culture. Um, and they're competitive events, so they're really intense. So, but the other piece of house ballroom is the actual house. Um, and houses are essentially families, uh, uh, networks of people that come together um, to support each other, to thrive and, and um, heal in society, to do organizing work together. And then you'll find at balls, different houses are competing in these different categories together. So that's house ballroom 101. I love it. I love it. And, and you said so succinctly what would have taken me five days to explain. Um, so thank you especially for talking about those two different aspects of it. Why is it so important for us as part of the LGBTQ community to have that chosen family to be a part of a house? Absolutely. You know, I think it's critical for us to have chosen family. We are navigating multiple systems of oppression simultaneously um, because of our complex identities, because of our family histories, oftentimes because <clears throat> oftentimes many of our biological families might have rejected us because of our queer and trans identities. Um, so it's been critical over the span of time for us to create 
new systems of support, new families, new systems of liberation, where we can thrive, survive, and experience joy, even in the midst of navigating white supremacy. So that's, you know, it's not just the house and ballroom community where you can find queer families, you can locate queer family and queer community in all different type of ways. Chicago has a really interesting like, just like house party family community where they're like queer groups of people just come together. They change their last name and create families. This is gonna be my first ball, Jonathan. Well, my first big ball. Yeah. And it's like the ball of the year. So what do I have to look forward to? What should I expect? So you're going to the coldest winter ever ball. This is a ball that happens once a year. So I was there in New York at it um, last year. Um, so it's going to be a lot of people. There's going to be uh, basically when you go to a ball, houses buy tables at the ball. So make sure you go find the House of Garçon table, chop it up with the family. Um, you will see a lot of beautiful chants. So much of my work is about tracking and creating like liberation chant culture so a lot of times that's like from the more activism and community organizing space but it's so fascinating to see and hear the different chants that represent each of the houses um so yeah if you're going to have a wonderful time it is really really going to be a fabulous occasion um yeah and you know don't forget the chant comb day garçon garçon You'll hear that <laughs> all through the crowd, all night. We come in, we're storming. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, and oh, before we go, though, so you and I are part of CDG Pro. Can you talk to talk about CDG Pro specifically? Absolutely. So I'm one of the founding members of CDG Pro and Twiggy Poochie Garcon and Shannon Garcon um, were the brainchild behind CDG Pro. And basically um, what it is, is, our house, Comme des Garcons, both has a nonprofit arm of our house. So we um, can raise money, we do activism work, we do organizing work, we do healing justice work within the house. So CDG Pro is essentially the young professional side of the house, but also the community organizer side of the house. So for Black queer people who want to be a part of the community, who want to support the house and ballroom community, but might not necessarily want to compete in a ball or walk in a ball. You know, I'm a, I'm a singer, songwriter, I play guitar. They don't got no category for my talents in a ball. <laughs> Maybe one day they will, but um, it, you know, it's, it's heavily uh, runway, it's, it's heavily Vogue dancing, but also many other categories. Uh, House of Garçon is known for the face category. So, um, but CDG Pro is really how we situate ourselves to not only support our house members within the house. So we do job training, we'll do resume support, um, we'll do workshops around movement building. So when the uprising was happening, we made sure to have a space for us to debrief the uprising, but also to educate folks about what does it mean to want to defund police? What does it mean to fight against multiple systems of oppression? So, so many times like it's already a political space where Black, queer, and trans people are trying to survive together. So it's inherently political, but this is really an effort to bring our house into this movement moment and make sure that everywhere we go, we go joyful and we go healed. Period. And that is an act of resistance in and of itself. So Absolutely. thank you so much, Jonathan Likes Garcon. Garcon, thank Garcon. <laughs> I love you. Nominee, I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye. Hello, good people. I hope that yesterday's conversation with Jonathan Likes Garcon, my longtime friend and my Garcon brother, was helpful to situate what house and ballroom culture is all about. And I love that he also spoke about how it's so much more than the ball, the categories, the voguing. It's also about having a chosen family in a safe space for queer and trans people to just be. I'll make sure that I have everything that he talked about as far as the resources are concerned. Pose, Legendary, Paris is Burning, the documentary on the Kiki scene. All of those things will be linked down below. Please do take some time and just deepen your knowledge and awareness of what this whole world is about. But in the meantime, girl, I'm about to show you. I can show you better than I can tell you. All right. And so it is Saturday morning. It is... 8.39 a.m. in probably about 20 or so minutes, we're going to head out, drop pooks off at the dog sitter. Girl, I said the babysitter. 
same thing <laughs> before we go though i wanted to show you all something and it is my new teddy blake tote now this part of the video is a paid for sponsorship by my friends over at teddy blake but this is a tote, y'all, that I would have gotten otherwise, okay? You all know that from my 4040, I've been talking to you all about what's a great tote. I wanted to put the Dior tote on the shelf, allow for sis to breathe a little bit. I was kind of dogging her out, and I was like, okay, so what am I going to replace it with? I need something that is durable. And you all share with me so many great ideas, and the one that I came across was by Teddy Blake. And when they reached out to me and said that they wanted to sponsor, part of a YouTube video I said this is a win-win situation all right and my new bag is called the Vanessa Pomelato 14 in dark gray y'all I'll be sure to show you close-ups because with the light behind me I don't know if it's coming across in its true color but it is this very deep rich gray I didn't want to do black I have so many black bags and I didn't want to go too light because I didn't want to risk getting it dirty Here's what I can say about Teddy Blake that I did not know before getting this bag. Number one, it is made from 100% high quality Italian leather. And in fact, it is made in some of the same factories as your luxury brands, okay? And so when I pulled this out the box in the dust bag, yes, it does come with the dust bag, I immediately knew we were talking about something that was very high quality. Number one, and I hope I'm not the only person who does this, that leather, girl, the smell of the leather. It's just, it's so delicious, okay? The inside is fully suede, not microfiber, fully suede. And it has this texture to the leather, y'all, that really helps it from uh, getting scratches or it just helps it overall to be more durable, okay? And then on the bottom, you have your gold feet. Yes, I did get one that has gold hardware, but they also have options that have silver hardware, okay? You have your Teddy Blake that is embossed here in gold and then y'all know it was important to me to get a bag that had top handles and that had a crossbody strap this one does it has both and the dope part about the crossbody strap y'all is that at almost six feet tall i can indeed wear it crossbody okay it is long enough for me it is adjustable and i actually don't even have it on the last one and i can still sit it crossbody i just put here my hermes twilly just to give it a little bit of, you know, je ne sais quoi. Wait, girl, let me get the two of it together. This is your moment, Twilly. Because I don't wear my Twillies nearly enough. So I put a Twilly on it there in light blue with a zebra. Let's see if you can see that. At first, I had it wrapped around the handles, but I don't trust myself to keep that like in pristine condition so i decided to just put it on the side it has this little snap closure here which helps to keep the handles closed and the thing about it y'all let me open this is that although the inside doesn't have a zipper all the way across what i love is that because of this little snap closure it helps to keep the bag closed okay it's not like flopping open Plus, you have your snaps on this side as well. Now let's talk about what is on the inside. It actually comes with a charm in the shape of an apple. I took it off because I knew I wanted to add a twilly, okay? But on the inside, it holds so much, y'all. I have my Louis Vuitton pouch. This is, I think, called the Neo Noe pouch or something like that. And inside this pouch, I have my computer charger. Again, we're traveling, so I didn't want these things to kind of be flopping around in my bag. I have my sunglasses case. I have some hand cream, just other little odds and ends in there. And it fits very easily on the front pocket, okay? In the middle, it also has a pocket, and I just put extra cords in there. And also my SD card reader, just so I have those super handy. Here's where it gets good, y'all. Both of the large compartments are the same size, and because it has this snap closure, it is even more expandable. And what I put on the back side is my laptop, okay? This is a MacBook. Girl, I'm raised a tech person. I don't even know what kind of computer I have. It is a MacBook Pro, okay? 
I'll put the size on the screen. It's, this is shameful. I don't, she's the tech person in our relationship, okay? <laughs> but the bag again is 14 inches. So I think that's a MacBook 13. I think it's a 13, okay? And I have this additional screen that Omri got me for Christmas that it even also fits in here super easily, y'all. And so I have some serious tech equipment in here. Both fit very easily. And I still have room for more. And let me show you what the strap drop is giving, okay? And let me crossbody it for you. So I can be completely hands-free, y'all, heading through the airport, heading through the train station, and that was really what was the most important to me. I needed something that could fit all of my essentials and I could still be hands-free. Now, here's the great part. I'm not gonna overload it because I do also have a suitcase, but I could very easily also fit my LV agenda in here. And if I wanted to, the book that I've been reading. And again, still have, still have space. So if you are looking for a good tote, if you're looking for something that is well made, 100% Italian leather, then I highly recommend Teddy Blake. All right, my dear, so thank you so much for supporting the brands that support politics and fashion. Teddy Blake has so many other styles of handbags, not just totes, of course. That is the one that fit a hole in my handbag arsenal, um, but they also have smaller bags, they have crossbodies, they have everything you can imagine that may be a perfect fit for you. Now, let me grab my charger, let me grab my phone, and let's get up out of here. <sighs> Y'all, I am tired AF. Uh, we had a really good train ride from Union Station, um, but once we got in New York, it was a lot to get here. So thank goodness we finally made it. We uh, arrived actually probably about 45 minutes ago. It should not have taken us this long to get settled in our hotel. But the check-in process, I don't think they were having <laughs> A good day uh, so public hotels do better um, a lot of girls stay here for fashion week I came with Janae uh, she um, Ray and myself came for a drink after we went out to dinner with Tanika and I loved it right it has the beautiful uh, escalator that everybody knows the iconic pictures that all the girls were taking sorry y'all camera died um, but as I was saying what was I saying all right oh you were talking about Public hotel need to do better because there's oh. the process more. All right, but as I was saying, so uh, the whole hotel, the lobby area, everything is spectacular, very modern, very chic, gives you that cool kids vibe. So we were like, all right, let's just stay here, see what it's hitting on. Girl, get here, and it took us a minute to check in because none of the computer stations were working. And this is when I feel like you know what y'all, there's nothing wrong with just hiring someone to sit behind a desk and check people in. Like where's the customer service? A computer can't, you know, smile at me. A computer can't tell me where to go to get some falafel. It, it, it can't. And, and, and y'all just made this whole process 10 times more difficult than it needed to be because you decided to rely on automation versus a real person. Thanks a lot. Um, so because of that, <laughs> we are now moving behind schedule. Uh, ball starts at 5. My house is uh, lighting up at 4. And girl, I'm not going to tell you that it is 3.50. So needless to say, we're not going to make it on time. Um, but I'm about to beat this face real fast. Um, Ray's about to get dressed. We are waiting on our bottle of Prosecco. Um, it comes with our Hotels.com membership. And yeah, I just, I need something and to come. And Bernard, everybody for Bernard too. Oh, we're waiting on Bernard too. But I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to wait for him 
to go to the ball. My cousin isn't landing until four. He's coming from out of town to meet us at the ball. Um, so yeah, hotel room is cute. I will not take anything from that. I just wish the check-in experience was a lot better. Uh, really quick, I'll, I'll tell y'all what it's like before I, um, start to get dressed because I won't see you again until the ball. Coming through the front door, it has these kind of like wood panels that are floor to ceiling, which I like a lot. Um, it has a very similar kind of like glass bathroom to Modern House, but this one is not completely transparent and it's a little bit smaller as well. Um, the light wood continues all the way to this platform where the bed sits and it's kind of like tucked into the um, wall or tucked into the window is kind of a better way to say it. We have um, a nice window, sheer curtains, the bed seems comfortable so far, and then there's a little nook in the corner to sit down um, with a table to get some work done. And that is the room. It's definitely cute. I think public is a vibe. Uh, but in the meantime, you hear on Ray unzipping her suitcase. That's my cute girl. We have to get dressed. I will see y'all at the ball. And we are all dressed. So uh, my house, Comme des Garcons, we are doing white and we are doing light blue and I decided to do all white. So on my eyes, I have a pair of Versace sunglasses. Girl, I got these from Amazon. Um, I am wearing the Natia and Laco earrings from Farfetch, which y'all have seen a bunch of times already. This blazer, it's a long blazer. Uh, it is from Zara. I'm wearing it almost like a dress, but I do have a pair of shorts underneath, also from Zara, to pull in that blue, which is the other color of my house uh, that my house is wearing tonight. We were actually partnering with the Gucci's. Um, and I am wearing a pair of fishnet gloves that I also got from Amazon. And then the shoes are also from Versace. And I felt like I could get a lot of wear out of these beyond tonight. It's going to be a really great spring shoe and look good with a pair of loose denim. And let me show you head to toe what it's giving. This wind is not playing. We are just waiting to yeah, 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 yeah. get inside. The line yeah, is behind it's us. Moving along. It's moving along. The coldest one I ever bought on O was a thing. There were highs, there were lows, there were ups, there were downs, but overall it was an amazing time. Uh, as you can hear, my voice is almost gone for chanting from my house and just screaming in general. I'm talking about Gina was out of control. I was out of control. The whole damn party was out of control. So it is a 9.30. The room is in absolute shambles and disarray. Umre is behind me asleep on the bonnet ministry. 
<laughs> sitting up like the Undertaker. <laughs> Yo, my arm hurts so Everything bad. Hurts. It hurts girl. so bad. I was trying to film, and the camera we have is so heavy. It's so Show heavy. Hey, this camera, the lens is what's heavy, babe. This camera is probably about ten pounds. And I um, had to hold it up to get. Oh God. Yeah, and um, but y'all, listen, the footage was great, wasn't it? All right, we thank her. <laughs> we don't pay her, but we we thank her. Uh, so y'all, I um had to take them shoes off last night. Those Versace shoes are amazing, but somebody needs to put out a warrant for their arrest. Um, because the way I feel right now, from the balls of my feet, actually the tips of my toes, the balls of my feet, all the way to my ankles and my knees, it's I'm not well. I'm not well, and I'm about to go get me some icy hot. I said that on IG, and the girls thought I was playing, but I'm not. Uh, because my feet need to get wrapped in eucalyptus, something, <laughs> soaked. <laughs> It was not pretty because here's what happened y'all we pulled up to the function and a lot of the people in my house had already gone in and uh Henri and I were just stuck in the line and mind you you saw what I was wearing I was wearing a long coat but it was still cold AF and so we were out there as it progressively got colder um probably for an hour babe mm -hmm. It was about an hour. An hour outside. And Everybody was mad. In All New York there winter. were so many people in houses that were just kind of sitting going out there like, what the off. fuck? Going like, off. It was like, what? Girl, it was just a mess. So we finally. Like, as as people got inside, they was like. The, everybody's mood changed. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally got inside the venue was huge y'all it was a warehouse that they transformed into a ball essentially and so you had your house tables that lined each side in the front and then you had the runway that was down the middle so the first thing they do at a ball is the grand march they call out all of the legends all of the icons that are in the building um all of the fathers and the mothers of the house and so that lasted for a good minute before they start to actually get into the categories um and when i tell you people showed up for this ball it was like 25 people in some of these categories and each person has to be judged gucci garcons we did good won quite a few categories um saw my bae me and our race husband from the gorgeous house the gorgeous house of gucci <laughs> he's so beautiful uh we stan stan it, it was legendary uh gorgeous house of house of gucci was on legendary and uh the garcons actually partnered with gucci i think i told y'all that for this ball and so we had a table that was uh, combined with both and uh, we just stood on a chair and screamed the entire night so today obviously we're wrecked I didn't even have that much to drink but my body is just like girl mm -mm, you're not built for this no more um saw so many amazing amazing people beautiful faces folks who we have just like treasured and admired their talent online for so long like milan garcon who is my house sister i completely fanned out when i saw her it was a little embarrassing um for nard finally showed up late af as usual but he made it one thing about him he, he gonna be late but he's also going to show up so he made it to the function um and it was his first ball it was our first like major ball so it was nice to have that experience together for sure and the girls were dressed down i i just don't even know what to say like just the outerwear alone was enough to make me rethink my life i talked to him all right i need a fur I need a fur. She was like, if you say that one more time, I said, no, but this is, I really need a fur. Like, I need a floor length fur. I don't have a choice. I don't, at this point, I don't have a choice. Um, because they were serving. They were serving. I'm talking about ugh, blue, red, pink, purple. Like, the, the best of the best. Uh, I just... The girls just came to serve and um i loved how the announcer was calling the ball for me that's one of the best parts uh how can i describe it it's kind of like a black church ballroom announcing that might be akin to like if you went to an auction 
but more so, more so. <laughs> very witty off the dome and you're you know getting everyone's scores for the categories and so Jack Misra he was one of the announcers he actually you all may know him because he is the person who created uh, Legendary on HBO Max one of the shows that Jonathan and I were talking about he's also isn't he also very much known for bringing helping to bring ballroom to the ballroom mainstream underground to mainstream like he's an icon yeah, Andre said that he's known, I don't know if you walk in here, um, for bringing um, Ballroom to the mainstream. Actually, she partnered with Jack and his team to bring some of the houses or house members to um, where she works, which is a Smithsonian institution for a big event. So, um, yes, that is his role. And I, I just love got him so much. Um, Ray's upset. She was mad that she was wearing a mask because he couldn't see her face. Girl, because let me tell you, you know how y'all be pressed? I be pressed. I be super pressed. I'm not one of those people that will be fake no when shame. I see me either. somebody. I'm like, I would do a cartwheel to somebody. If if I if I see you on the streets, don't act like you don't know me. I, I won't give you the opportunity. Girl. I'm trying to tell you, I, I will be like, backflip. Yeah! If I realized I had a mask on, he would have been like, bitch, who are you? So I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ray's look was giving. Oh my God, it was so good. She was wearing one of them Kanye masks with some sunglasses. I loved it. Um, and then she was also wearing her Guru and Brothers hat. The sunglasses we had gotten from a black vendor at a street festival. I couldn't tell you the name of those, but they are amazing. And she was wearing, what else were you wearing, babe? Oh, you, who was your jean jacket by? Oh, uh, I need to see. I got it off of Essence. I, I need to see who it is. She's wearing a white jean jacket, a turtleneck, a pair of silk pants, and her Saint Laurent uh, patent leather loafers. Eight. And my look got a lot. Sorry, battery died. That is just an indication of this weekend. Uh, so listen girl, I, I, I need to lay back down. It is 9.30. Um, my plan was to get up at 7, edit this video real quick, and have it out to y'all to premiere by noon on Sunday. You know we typically do noon premieres, but I, I just can't. I don't have it in me. I am so, so tired. So I know y'all will forgive me. You will appreciate the content when it comes out. Because right now all I can think of is coffee. Very strong, very strong coffee. Um, and something to eat, putting something on my stomach. So we're gonna hop over to brunch at Veranda. Um, I'll show you around there again. Uh, I told you that was the place where we had the expensive steak and eggs, the expensive Waffle House, <laughs> all American breakfast. Um, but everything else was actually good. Um, Ray had a really good avocado sandwich one day and I really enjoyed my flatbread pizza and the drinks are divine. So we are going to hop over to Modern House before we head out. I will show y'all what I am wearing and then we will wrap up this vlog. Stay tuned though. Don't listen. Don't go nowhere. All right, y'all, quick OOTD before we head to brunch. Uh, no makeup, just put on a little bit of concealer, brush my brows up, and then the lip is Saddle by Lawless. Love that as a natural lip when I'm not wearing makeup. Earrings are old, y'all see these all the time. Uh, sweater is by Lily Silk, it is cashmere. Yes, Lily Silk does do cashmere. Check the description box to see if my discount code is still working. High-waisted black pants from Zara, y'all have seen a bunch of times. My socks are by Russell Westbrook's brand called honor the gift those are actually unraised and then I am wearing my yellow and black Air Jordans it is freezing outside I would love to wear my new Saint Laurent mules but it's just too cold to give the girls that so I'm actually gonna put on a like, duster on top of this and my big coat Ooh, last thing, I forgot to tell y'all about my sunnies. These are from Nordstrom Rack. They look very rich, girl. These things were like 60 bucks. Um, po Poelato, it's an Italian brand. Um, but yes, check Nordstrom Rack if you're interested. I love the round frame. Not quite a 100% blackout lens. And then you got your little pop of gold on the side, which y'all know I love gold. So I feel like it is a very casual look, but yet a look indeed. Let's go get some food and a cocktail.
So we just finished brunch, went to the hotel, grabbed our things, jetted over to the Amtrak station. I absolutely love this side of Penn Station. It's called Moynihan Hall. 10 out of 10, very comfortable. Um, Ray grabbed her some <laughs> Magnolia Bakery. I'm not supposed to be eating sugar right now, but I had to have a piece of pecan cheesecake, girl. Anyway, thank y'all so much for rocking with us for the vlog. For being willing to learn something about ballroom culture with me, I'm still learning, but it was such a beautiful and safe space last night. It will not be my last ball. I'm about to sit down and eat my cheesecake, girl. I'll see y'all later. Bye.